Hey guys, Simply Betty here. In my last video, I started taking apart my fish room, totally destroying it. If you missed it, go check it out. My fish room is gone. It's it's gone for reasons. But even though my fish room is gone, um, I still have plenty of other fish tanks scattered throughout the house. I haven't gotten rid of all my fish. I still have a thriving hobby, but it's just not as cool anymore because I don't have the fish room. As you can imagine, lately I've been shuffling a lot of things around, doing a lot of cleaning, doing a lot of moving of fish that I've kept or that I'm going to keep. So I got myself some new five gallon tanks uh, to put in a different place to keep some of my keeper fish. And what I like to do with my fish tanks is I like to actually paint the backs of them black. On the actual outside of the tank, I take black latex paint, just regular old paint, and I just paint the outside a couple coats. It gives me a nice clean looking black background that I like. I like doing that versus like being able to see the wall behind the glass of my fish tanks. It's a little bit of work to do that. I mean, you have to get paint and you have to paint all the coats and let each side dry. And it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but that's what I've done for pretty much all of my fish tanks. However, I've run out of black paint recently, and instead of going to the hardware store and getting some more black paint like a normal person, I decided I was gonna try something new. Apparently, there's another method that you can use for making the back sides of your tanks black or whatever color you want, and that's to use like a window tint. I got this idea from Jadrin Aquatics. I stumbled on his video. And you guys are awesome. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You are absolutely awesome. And he was really enthusiastic about this method. Jadrin Aquatics has a ton of fish tanks. Like he, you think I'm obsessed with fish? You should see this guy. I aspire to be like Jadrin Aquatics in my level of obsession. So he made a video about doing this. I know he's not the first person to do this method, but because I learned it from him, um, he's going to get all the credit in my video. So thanks, man. I'm gonna try this method of using a tinted window film to actually put on the back of my tank so I don't have to mess with paint. I just picked the product that he had linked in the bottom of his video, which is called Rabbit Goo, which is really gross. Let's see if I love this method too. We're gonna use this window tint to put on the backs of my tanks. Let's do this. All right, this is like a blackout. This is a blackout window film. What are the instructions? Okay, I'm gonna clean the glass just with a little window cleaner. Now I'm just laying the sticker on the top. And I'm just gonna kinda cut this out a little bit. And I'm just gonna get the size that I want. Okay, spray some of this on there. And now I'm trying to peel this sticker off. Come on. I'm just gonna set it down. Like so, yeah, that looks pretty nice. There's some little bubbles in there, so I'm just gonna use this old Olive Garden gift certificate and push those out. Don't try to get the number of this, guys. It's used. I don't even have an Olive Garden in my town. Now I'm gonna take an X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna kinda run it along the very edges to cut off this excess. Oops, I messed up. Oh God, I messed up. Come on, Taylor. Messing up the cutting, it's this cast. I'm gonna blame it on the cast. It's okay, I'm just gonna look past that little uneven top. Okay, let's try it again. Better this time at the bottom. I think I did it. The knife is harder than it looks. Actually, it's not. No, don't touch my shirt. He's so, so, so evil. Yeah, Jafar is a really evil guy. Oh, okay. That's really, really freaking me out. Really, really freaking me out right now. Mm -hmm. Really freaking me out. That's really freaking you out. Oh, really, 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 really. All right, I just did the exact same thing to another five gallon tank. I'm doing three sides of these five gallon tanks because these are going lengthwise. You'll see what I'm talking about. It has to be an Olive Garden gift certificate. No other gift certificates will do. Awesome. I finished. 
That was actually really easy. Like I was surprised. It was a lot faster than painting and then having to wait for a few hours and painting and having to wait for a few hours like I usually do. I feel like as soon as I did like one piece, I learned the process and, and I'll do it way faster next time. Also the fact that I kind of have club hands at the moment and I can't move my thumbs very well, that probably attributed to my slowness. It's definitely faster than painting the backs of your tanks and I think it looks nice too. Another plus is that if I ever wanted to reuse these tanks someday and you know, take the black off of two sides, I could. I could just peel it off. That's awesome. You just pull it off and, and you can put another one on. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. It looks nice. See, there's no like holes or streak marks. Ugh, stupid farms. I just realized I still have to do the bottoms. I like to have the bottoms of my tanks painted black, um, but you can see three sides are done and I'm gonna do the last one too. In fact, maybe I'll just do that right now. It was definitely harder doing the bottom ones with two uh, immobilized thumbs. I had to put these back on because I was starting to feel a little bit sore. But now I'm done and I love them. Look how nice these look. You can't really tell. I mean, it's just a fish tank with three, four black sides and one visible side. Again, why did I do it like this? It's because they're, oh, okay, hang on. Because they're gonna be sitting on a shelf lengthwise, so I'm looking in this way. The blacked out sides are so my betta fish can't see each other. I just like it like that. And then a blacked out bottom because I think it looks nice. Blacked out back because I don't want to see the wall. And I'm done. My parting thoughts are that I like this method and I'll probably be using this over paint in the future. That whole roll, um, I'll link it down below. I was able to pretty much black out four sides on a five gallon tank on two tanks. So it went a long way and I like it. I like trying new things. So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned to see what's going to be going into these five gallon tanks. Like I said, I still have fish and fish tanks. I just don't have a nice big fish room anymore to breed betta fish as well. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'll have some fun videos coming up. Have a great day guys and I'll see you next time. Water on the floor and all over the wall. No matter if it's carpet, I'm ruining it all. Well, I'm a fish nerd, a fish nerd. It's Saturday again, heading to the fish store. I'm addicted to fish, I need more and more. I keep buying more fish, and I don't have the room.